Hey guys, so I'm here today to film a quick little haul for you. I literally just got back from the mall. Um, I picked up some stuff from the drugstore, from Lush and from Sh Sephora, and just wanted to show you. I'm filming on my iPhone today, so let me know if the quality is worse or better. I feel like my iPhone probably will be less blurry because it will autofocus where my camera doesn't, but the light, I can't adjust the lighting on my iPhone, I don't think, unless I can play around with it on my computer when I get it. I don't know. It's really warm toned. Actually, if I filmed in front of my uh, window, it would be perfect lighting, but I just don't have a setup for that right now. And it's kind of a pain in the butt to like get something in here to like balance my camera on, whereas I can just put it on this little thing I have on my desk, but I digress. So I went to Walmart yesterday and I picked up two things from Maybelline. Um, first, I saw that this palette was in stores now. Can you see I have a bright ass light there? So it's supposed to give me this yellow, red thing happening. Um, this is called Maybelline The Nudes Palette, and the way it's laid out is kind of cool. I would say the top row is pretty cool toned, and the bottom row is pretty warm toned. Um, I just took pictures of this for my blog, so by the time this is up, I'll probably have a review for it on my blog. So I haven't used this yet, but I like the way it's laid out. It's actually laid out. Oh, the colors are so ridiculous right now actually laid out so there's quads so there's three quads there's also trios I don't love the trios as much I don't feel like the trios would work very well but then there's also duos so everyone next to each other is a duo which is kind of cool like so I was wondering why this light champagne kind of color was down here but if it's duos it makes sense but it's like honestly this palette was $10.98 so I couldn't say no to it how many neutral palettes does one person need apparently 10 so <laughs> that's a thing. Um, so yeah, I picked this up. It was $10.98. I'm really excited to try it out. Um, it's basically Maybelline's answer to the Naked palette and the Naked Frenzy that's going on right now. And I think it's great for the drugstore. You get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 12 eyeshadows for $10 is an amazing deal. I also will be placing an order from Coastal Sense this weekend for the Revealed and the Revealed 2 palettes. I've been thinking about it forever and I just need them. I've been looking at getting the Naked 3 palette but I just don't know if those colors work with my skin very well so the Revealed 2 palette is like the perfect answer to that because it's $20 for 20 eyeshadows which is like a quarter of the price of the Naked 3 palette with more eyeshadows. So look for a Coastal Sense haul in the near future. But yeah, I think this is a great idea. I think there's amazing shadows. The matte shadows are a little bit more satin than matte and I find that um, this shadow and this shadow don't have very great pigmentation. These two right here, this bronze color and this like taupey color have beautiful pigmentation. They were like the like showstoppers when I swatched it. Again, put a link to my blog. I'll have a full review on that so you can see what I think about that. And then I never wear fake nails. Um, these are what my nails look like. Um, this one is broken. Ew, look at it. Ugh. But I never wear fake nails. I have pretty decent long nails, but... I saw these falsies and I kind of wanted to try them. I've seen them before, but I just absolutely love this print. They are the white with the black around the edges. I just think it's such a cool design. And they were only, I think, six or eight dollars. You get 24 in here. So realistically, there should be enough in here for two applications. They're supposed to be like, I think, ultra thin flex nail extensions. So maybe I'll do a review about these on my blog as well because I never wear falsies. So I don't really know if I'll like them or not, but I just, loved the pattern. They also had these other ones with like metallic tips on them that looked kind of cool, but I figure I should only buy one in case I absolutely hate them, then I only have one to hate forever. And then today I went to the mall. Um, I hit up Sephora and I only spent $8. Who's proud of me? I'm proud of me. Um, I actually saw their new uh, face masks, so I had to get one. This is the Rose face mask, which is um, ultra moisturizing and brightening. Last week I went to Rockfest. I posted a like Rockfest Essentials, like Music Festival Essentials on my blog, which I'll link below. But whatever skin, whenever I travel, I just bring like the little sample skincare items that I have with me and whatever, I don't know what it was, but something I used broke me out like crazy. Not pimples, but it actually messed up the texture of my skin. Like it's a lot better now, but it still feels very rough. So for the last week, I've only been using like my cream cleanser and only Aveeno and Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizers, and that's it to cleanse my skin and moisturize. No serums, no masks, no nothing. Everything has just been like super gentle stuff. And my skin has bounced back. 
but now it's just, I feel like it's healed now, but the texture is still off, so I kind of want to start using my Clarisonic again. I'm thinking a really moisturizing mask will help with the weird texture. So yeah, I picked this up. These are only $8 and they're sheet masks. Um, I want to try the honey one, I think, because that would be cool. And it's literally just like a mask in this little pouch inside, which is kind of cool. And then while I was there, I have like a bajillion um, points. Actually, I have a thousand points, insider points. Um, I wonder if it says on my bill how many I have. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I had a thousand before today. I spent eight dollars, so whatever. Um, but I got a one hundred point perk. This is the Tarte Flush Cheek Stain. I've been wanting to try one of these cheek stains for a while, but I'm like not a huge blush person. I've been getting into blush more recently, but like spending thirty dollars on a blush to me seems insanity. So I figure a little tiny blush like this. First of all, I never go through blush, and right now I'm loving cream blushes. So let's try it. Oh, I warped it a little bit. It's a little warm outside, so you get I think an okay amount of product. And this is just like this nice kind of berry color that's it there. That's cute. I'll like it. It's like really jelly. Blends pretty easily. Ooh, and it smells good. Kind of lemony. I don't know. So yeah, I got that for my 100 point perk because um, I don't really like, I didn't really like any of the other 100 point perks. The only other thing I wanted to get was the Lancome mascara, but all the mascaras aren't waterproof. So like, I know about that life. Um, and then I went to Lush. Um, basically I was out of all of my, <coughs> um, bath things. I pretty much used them all up, so I need some new stuff. So I got two bath bombs and two, um, bubble bars. This is the Dorothy bubble bar. I've never tried it before, but The Wizard of Oz is my all-time favorite movie, so I just figured I had to try it. It's got glitter on it. It smells great. It's blue. I will probably be cutting all of these in half because that's just what I do. Um, I got this, um, bubble no bath bomb which is so cool it's called space girl and it's blue with red on the top and there's glitter all over it who doesn't want glitter in their bathtub i know i do um and then i got um the comforter bubble bar which is this giant pink one i've never got this one before because it's like ten dollars so it's like twice the price of the other ones but at the same time it's twice the size of the other ones i could easily get four baths out of this and it smells like bubbles like it reminds me of like that bubblicious gum you used to chew when you were little that would like make your jaw hurt and then the last thing I got is a um bubble no a bath bomb oh I can't speak today which is called dragon's egg did I say dragon really weird I feel like I said dragon dragon and dragon's egg it smells delicious and I'm gonna guess it has some sort of special treat inside if it's called if it's called dragon's egg it's probably gonna hatch into something super cool and it's huge I'm definitely gonna chop this in half. That's just what I do with bubble bars. Oh, I just got like, do you see that? Just shit everywhere. So yeah, <laughs> I think I just got that in my mouth. <laughs> Don't eat dragon's egg, not good. So yeah, that is everything that I got from the mall today. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I will talk to you later, bye.